Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup haul video. And hindi lang siya drugstore, hindi lang din high end, but a mixture of both. Yes, the best of both worlds. Chari. And most of the things that I'll be showing you today were bought with my own money. And meron din dito na napadala sa akin. Maybe you saw this before na sa mga unboxing videos ko, pero hindi ko pa sila nagamit. Well, actually, nagamit ko na sila yesterday. Kasi take two na to. Nag-film na ako nito yesterday, guys. Pero while I was editing the clips last night, I got so frustrated that I deleted all the files. Kasi yung sa bronzer na part, down to lipstick, may malaki akong muta sa mata ko. As in, hindi lang isang mata, dalawang mata. And yes, malalaki talaga. And sabi ko, but hindi ko yun napansin. Ang weird, hindi ko talaga napansin. So I decided to film it again today. Meron lang akong bagong nabili from Ulta yesterday kasi I went there before going to the gym kasi magkatabi lang sila. And my 50% off, not 50% off, buy one, get one 50% off. And konti lang naman. So yeah, hindi na ako magpapaligoy-ligoy pa. If you want to see my makeup haul and if you want to know my thoughts about them, then keep on watching. Before anything else, I want to do my brows first. So, I bought this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow with Skinny Brow Pencil. And yes, alam ko na yung iniisip nyo. Hindi pa sinabi mo, Mimi, na hindi ka nabibili ng Anastasia kasi namamahalan ka. And yes, hindi talaga ako bibili nito in full price kasi ito nabili ko 50% off. Yung 21 days ng Ulta. Yung 21 days sale pala ng Ulta. I think... 10 or 11 dollars na lang yung bili ko nito. So, binili ko na. Kasi 50% off. Pero kung full price, I'm not gonna buy this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the difference ng brow definer and brow whiz. So, this is the brow definer. I don't know if you can see that. But medyo thick siya and mataba yung pencil. But this brow whiz, sobrang nipis nung tip niya. So, it's gonna be easier for you to mimic your brow hairs. This one pala was given to me. I did not buy this. This was given to me by my friend Chang. And this one, of course, I bought because 50% off. Now that I'm done with my brows, I will use this Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. I compare ko talaga to Anastasia, guys, because I went to Ulta yesterday and really tried Anastasia Brow Gel sa brow school. And this is not a dupe for the Anastasia one, just to be honest. Hindi ko alam ko anong perfect term for that. Yung pag touch mo palang sa brows, mo mawi feel mo na tumiga siya, yung parang may spray net. Yung ganun na effect, yung crunchy effect of your brows, hindi siya ganun. Yung Anastasia Brow Gel, merong pagka crunchy siya, di ba? If you really want your brows to stay in place, this is not the brow gel for you. If you want lang to tame your brow hairs, kasi iba-iba yung direction ng brow hairs mo, I think this is a nice option from the drugstore kasi this is not expensive. This is cheap and I know you can find this there sa Essence sa Philippines. But I heard mas maganda daw yung merong tint nito. I'm gonna go back to Ulta and try it kasi I'm gonna do another haul next week kasi meron pa akong mga i-haul dito and hinaf ko lang sila talaga. For primer, I'm gonna use this Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. And this is how the primer looks like and travel size lang to guys. And the big size of this one is very, very expensive. So if you wanna try this, I suggest get the small one first before trying the big size. If money naman is not an issue and you have the budget for it, go ahead, get the large size. This is a really great primer. Napansin ko kahapon, medyo na blur out talaga niyo yung mga pores dito ko. Diba sabi ko sa inyo dati, dito lang naman wala laki yung pores ko. Medyo may blurring effect but hindi niya na-cancel talaga yung pores ko. Andun pa rin. Pero na-blur lang siya ng konti. I'm gonna apply it on my face now para makita niyo. As you can tell, puti siya, di ba? Pero medyo purplish yung tint niya pagdating sa face ko. But when you blend it out, hindi naman makikita yung pagka-purple niya. If you compare it to silicone type of primers, di ba maraming silicone talaga na sobrang mafeel mo talaga na silicone yung nilalagay mo sa mukha mo. This one, parang moisturizer siya na may kick of silicone. So I checked the ingredients, chinek ko lang talaga para sure meron talaga siyang silicone. So if you're someone who's allergic to silicone and if ayaw mo yung mga silicone type of products or primers, then this is not the primer for you. Now that I'm done with the primer, let's move on to foundation. And the foundation that I will use today is this Hard Candy Glam All Fludge Mixed in Pigment Makeup Drops. And yes, sa right side kahapon, minix ko siya with my moisturizer. This moisturizer, the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer. And then, hindi ko masyadong gusto yung effect niya. I don't know why, but nakasabi sa liko dapat i-mix in mo siya with your moisturizer. On the left side of my face naman, dinaretso ko siyang ilagay and hindi ko minix sa ng moisturizer. And okay naman yung effect niya sa akin. So today, I'm just gonna put this directly on my face. Oh, not directly, but I will use this. AKA yung lagaya ng sponge na to. Wala kasi ako mixing plate, so ito na lang. By the way, I'm in the shade medium one. Medyo dark siya ng konti sa akin, pero nagbe-blend in naman siya sa skin ko. You know, unti-unti. 
yung consistency nito, it's very slippery and oily, but when it's on your face, nagsiset siya talaga. But yung pagset niya, hindi naman powdery finish. It's not matte na super matte. It's not dewy na dewy. So, it's really in between matte and dewy. Sobrang madili siyang i-blend, yes. And it's gonna give you full coverage. If you really build it up to full coverage, pwede talaga siya maging full coverage. Ang problema lang, pag nakapatong-patong na yung foundation, of course, now obvious talaga na may suot kang foundation. Para ang nakaangat siya sa face mo. If you have a BB cream or foundation na hindi full coverage and gusto mong mag-full coverage, pwede mong lagyan nito. But if you ask me if paraho siya ng consistency sa cover effects, I've swatched the cover effects already sa Sephora and iba talaga sila ng consistency. This one is very liquidy. Mas better to if ito lang yung gagamitin mo diretsyo sa mukha mo kasi pwede mo naman siyang i-share out. The lesser drops you put in your mixing plate, then hindi siya magiging full coverage. If you want full coverage, you have to keep adding and adding drops and then you will reach full coverage. The biggest con of this foundation is yung dropper niya. And you have to lock it talaga ng bonggang bongga kasi if mag, if ilalagay mo to sa drawer mo na nakaganyan, it will really spill. Kasi nag-spill siya kahapon. Nilagay ko lang siya dito. So I had to clean it this morning. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Pero medyo na-emphasize yung lines ko dito on this area. But so far, okay naman sa buong face ko. Kasi yung next talaga, makikita ko na parang ang pangit-pangit dito. And then sa ilong na area ko, nagbe-break siya. Yung kaka-apply ko pa lang. This one looks flawless and okay, pero i-make sure nyo lang na sobrang hydrated yung skin mo or well-prepped yung skin nyo before nyo tong ilagay sa mukha nyo. To be honest, I don't know if I'll be reaching for this foundation. Maybe, 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 pero hindi ako sure kasi ayoko yung look na obvious na may foundation akong suot. I know I'm asking too much. I'm asking too much kasi diba, pag ma-foundation ka, may foundation ka talaga. Meron kasi yung mga full coverage na foundation na hindi siya mukhang foundation sa mukha mo. You get what I mean? Parang skin-like lang siyang tingnan. For concealer, ito yung gagamitin ko today. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. Nabili ko to sa Ulta the other day because I was watching this girl on YouTube talking about underrated products. And sabi niya itong Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Concealer. Sobrang ganda daw. So I had to run to Ulta. And literal talaga, I ran. Kasi malapit lang dito sa bahay namin. So, yes, guys, I really like this concealer and I feel like this is very, very very underrated. I'm not gonna use corrector para makita niyo yung coverage ng concealer na to. Napansin ko sa concealer na to, guys, mas better siyang i-blend pag hindi na damp yung sponge. Ang weird, no? Kasi normally, pag mga concealer, dapat damp yung sponge. Itong sponge na to, dry to, so walang water and everything. So, yeah. That is the concealer on my face now. The coverage and the blendability of this concealer is really, really good. And I love it so much. So to set my under eye concealer, I'm gonna use this NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. And kasama to sa binigay ni Coco sa akin. Ito yung ginamit ko ngayon kasi ang alam ko meron pang marami nito sa mga online setters din sa Philippines. Again, this is the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. If you're looking for a loose face powder na transparent, na hindi naman ganun kamahal, I highly, highly recommend this one and I like this better than the Coty Airspun. Ang problema kasi sa Coty Airspun, sobrang overwhelming yung scent. Kung ayaw mo ng ganong scented na loose powder, I can highly recommend this one. It's very, very good. It's finely milled and it's sobrang soft sa skin. This is the high definition color palette and this is from Graftobian and this was sent to me by Octoly and nagamit na to na isang makeup artist sa akin before. So this is how the palette looks like. Meron kang tatlong pang highlight. This one is good kasi yellow siya so you can highlight your under eyes but be careful kasi napansin ko sa Graftobian medyo nagkikiki siya pag hindi ka careful and medyo nagsisink in siya sa lines pag hindi ka careful so you have to be very very light handed. Ang maganda nito kahapon na set ko yung buong face ko with the powder sabi ko baka hindi na pwedeng lagyan nito. Kasi cream, ba? Dapat lagyan mo muna ng cream yung face mo before ka mag-powder. Pero kahapon, kahit naka-powder ako, tas ginamit ko to yung pang-contour. Sobrang nag-blend siya ng bonggang-bongga and hindi siya nag-cake, hindi siya nagpapatchy and everything. So this one is very, very good, you guys. I know this is a bit expensive, pero nakikita ko talaga to sa mga kit ng makeup artist. If nag-build ka na ng mga collection mo kasi gusto mo maging makeup artist, please isali mo to kasi meron ka ng shade lahat, like pang-highlight and pang-contour. Hindi pa masyado ako marunong mag-cream contour, guys, ha? Kasi powder yung nakasanayan ko. Hindi kasi ako makeup artist talaga. So, bear with me as I experiment.
I bought this powder from Essence yesterday, so this is going to be my first time to use this. Hindi ko to nagamit kahapon. Kahapon ko to nabili when I went to the gym and nagvisit ako ng Ulta store. So this is how it looks like. I bought this because I want to compare it to Makeup Forever, yung bago nila na powder, yung naka pressed. Or maybe the It Cosmetics na pressed powder na sobrang gusto gusto ni Kathleen Lights. I don't know which one to get. Let me know in the comment section below kung ano yung gusto nyo ihap and half ko. Yung It Cosmetics na ganito yung color, yung pressed powder na pang pore minimizing. I don't know. Ano yung pangalan nun? Hindi ko alam. I'm just gonna put it somewhere on the screen. Or the Makeup Forever, yung bago nila ngayon. First impressions, it actually set my whole face pretty nicely. And my face feels soft like butter. Itong next product na ipapakita ko sa inyo, ito talaga yung sobrang favorite ko na feeling ko underrated niya. Hindi ko alam kung bakit wala masyado nag-review nito. I was at Sephora last weekend and I was watching lang sa Hourglass. And sa likod ng Hourglass, merong Bare Minerals. And nakita ko yung bago nila na release And it's called Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. And yung mukha niya kasi, Parang hourglass. And you know hourglass, they're very expensive. Yung hourglass, I think $50. And this one, yes, this is high-end, but it's not that expensive. This is only $28 or $29. And this is how the bronzer looks like. Sobrang ganda ng bronzer na to, you guys. So when I saw it, sabi ko, isi-swatch ko nga siya. Medyo may sheen siya ng konti, pero wala siyang glitter sa... And Sobrang ganda ng bronzer na to you guys. And this is in the shade medium. Sobrang ganda niyang i-apply na parang skin-like lang. Na parang natamaan ka lang ng araw or nag-beach ka. Yung ganun na effect. Hindi siya patchy. Skin-like siya na bronzer. Hindi ko maintindihan yung effect ng bronzer na to. But this bronzer is really, really amazing. Sobrang underrated. For blush naman, I'm so excited to share these two blushes sa inyo. Kasi sobrang na-inlove ako sa blushes na to. Kahapon, kung makita niyo lang yung reaction ko, paglagay ko sa mukha ko, parang... Grabe! Yung first impressions ko nito. I'm not even kidding. Sobrang ganda talaga. And it's from the drugstore. It's from Essence Cosmetics. So these are the blushes na kailangan nyo sa buhay nyo. As soon as you're done watching this video, please run to SM or run to any department store na may Essence Cosmetics and Bly... and Bly? and buy these two blushes. And this one is in Satin Coral and this one is in Satin Love. This is number 10 Satin Coral. This is Satin Coral, you guys. It's so pretty. And hindi siya powdery na powder lang. Powder siya na may cream na hindi ko maintindihan. Satin, yes. Parang velvety yung feeling niya. This is number 20 Satin Love. Look at that color, guys. <laughs> I'm going to use this new blush brush. Blush brush from Real Techniques. Ooh! So, pag ganun mo, medyo powdery siya ha. Nakikita niyo yung kick ng powder. So, itap niyo lang yung brush mo. So, this is the satin coral on my cheeks. And then, mag add lang ako nitong satin love. Before I do my highlighter and everything, I'm gonna do my eye makeup. Hindi ko to sinali yesterday, but nakita ko to kasi I was cleaning my desk kanina. And sabi ko, meron pala akong Kathleen Lights. <laughs> yeah, Meron pala akong Kathleen Lights na Morphe na palette. And sabi ko, hindi ko na lang to i-review or hindi ko na lang sana siya gawa ng look. Pero meron pa ako nakikita ng mga online sellers sa Philippines na nagbebenta nito and meron din sa Shopee. So this is how the palette looks like. And thank you Coco for giving this to me. When you open it, wala siyang mirror. And merong sleeve dito. And then these are the colors. And they are really beautiful, guys. I'm not gonna swatch everything, but I will swatch the colors na nagsistand out sa akin. I'm gonna swatch this color. That's the color right there. So, yung consistency ng palette na to, same lang sa mga Morphe eyeshadows because of course, this is from Morphe. And then, I'm gonna swatch... This color is screaming my name. I really like this color. Um, I don't know where to put it there. And then, I'm gonna swatch this green one or blue one. Yeah. I'm gonna get this cream shade. I'm gonna get this color right here and I'm gonna put it on my crease. I'm going to get this color and add lang. Sabi ko dalawang eyeshadow lang, di ba? Pagbigyan nyo na ako, tatlo na lang. I'm just gonna add this color lang ng konti dito. I'm gonna put it all over my lid. I'm gonna get a fluffy brush and blend everything. 
I'm done with my eye makeup. Kahapon, di ba, hindi ako nag-eye makeup. Hindi ko ginamit yung Kathleen Lights palette. Ngayon lang ako naka-decide na gamitin siya. Since nakita ko pa siya sa mga online sellers sa Philippines, kaya ako siya ginamit today. I will just quickly tell you about this CoverGirl Club Crusher Extensions Lash Blushed. Lash Blush. Hindi ko talaga masabi yan. Lash Blast. Yun. And yes, totoo talaga. It's true to its hype. It's very, very nice. And hindi siya nagka-clump. And sabi dito, clump crusher siya. And totoo, kahit anong gawin ko kahapon, I did two layers and hindi siya nag-clump. Walang mga chunky eyelashes or hindi nag-chunky yung eyelashes mo. Parang naka-separate sila talaga and it's lengthening. This one gives you a little bit of volume pero mas lengthening talaga siya. If you have like a volumizing mascara and this one is lengthening, I suggest you use this first to give you length and then use your volumizing mascara mascara sa second coat mo. So then you're gonna have a baba boom lash. Kahapon when I filmed this, dalawa yung highlighter na ginamit ko. This one is from Flower Beauty and this is the Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. And this one is from 100% Pure. This was sent to me by Octoly. Their products are 100% vegan and cruelty free. Isa swatch ko lang sa inyo. Ito yung gagamitin ko kasi ito yung available dyan sa Philippines. If you are from the US, you're looking for a vegan and cruelty free na highlighter. I can suggest this one from 100% Pure. I thought I'm not gonna like this. Pag swatch mo, hindi siya ganun ka soft. But when it's on your cheeks na, sobrang ganda niya. This one is in the color rose gold and this is how it looks like. Dito ko siya is a swatch. I don't know if you can see that. It's just really a subtle highlight. Of course, if you want to blind your excess, then use the ones na sobrang intense. Like yung mga glittery or sobrang ma-foil na highlighters. But sa akin ngayon, mas gusto ko yung mas subtle na highlight. And this one, you guys, this is so beautiful as well. And pwede siyang maging intense, yes, pero wala siyang specks of glitters which I like. Kasi nga, ayoko yung mga glittery na highlighters or sobrang ma-foil kasi it's, it's gonna emphasize all the texture that you have in your face. For my highlight today, I'm gonna mix these two colors. So kahapon may nabili akong lipstick kasi buy one get one fifty percent off from Ulta and I bought these two liquid lipsticks. This one is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade San Paolo. But I'm going to try this one today. This is in the color Fresh France. And I think bago to sa NYX. It's a NYX Epic Ink Lip Dye. So sa pangalan palang na lip dye, medyo na curious ako kasi di ba mahilig tayo sa lip tints ngayon. Feeling ko magda dye, magda dye. Feeling ko magsustain to sa lips mo. So I'm just gonna use it right now and then maybe erase set ko hindi naman bagay siya sa lips ko. So this is how the tube looks like and then I'm going to open it. And similar lang siya sa mga ibang liquid lipsticks sa NYX, my doe foot applicator, but this one is really really liquidy compared to other liquid lipsticks. So this is really a lip dye. So we're going to try it out. The formula of this lipstick is not your typical liquid lipstick na moussey or velvety yung texture. New formula para sa mga lip tints na sinusuot natin, the one from KJM, Skin Sensation or iba pa mga lip tints. Liquidy siya, pero meron siyang color. But this one, of course, is more pigmented than your regular lip tints. So lip tint yung formula niya, pero it packs on a lot of color. And it's matte. And it's transfer proof. Oh. Okay. So yes, nag-stain talaga siya sa lips ko. Oh, you guys know, bihira lang ako mag-pink na lipstick. Pero yung SA kahapon kasi sa NYX na counter, like she was fixing everything and ito yung suot niya. I really asked her, sabi ko, what's on your lips? Sabi niya, San Paolo. Sabi ko, webinayin ko na lang talaga kasi sobrang ganda sa lips niya. Hindi ko alam kung bagay ba sa akin, but... Yeah, we're gonna do pink lipstick today. So we are done with the makeup haul slash try on slash mini review. I hope you found it helpful. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And please do not forget to hit the notification bell so you will get notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you again, guys. May your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you. Bye-bye.